In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a multi-level list. So I'm going to highlight the information that I want to be contained within my bullets. And I'm going to press the bullet button. For this one I don't want you to customize because that is the whole purpose of this whole tutorial. Okay, now each one of these plot summaries I want to be indented underneath the book. Now I can highlight and then come right up here. This is the indented, increase the indent button. So I would just click right there and it's gonna go to the default second level bullet. Okay, if I wanna do the other ones a little bit more quickly, I can highlight the first one, hold down control, highlight the second two and do the same thing. So when I look at this list, I'm seeing that all of these bullets have to do with the Divergent series by Veronica Roth. The first level bullet is telling me what the book is, and the indented bullet is telling me what that first level book is about. So now we can customize it to make it look a little bit prettier. So I'm gonna highlight all of my bullets. Be sure that whenever you highlight you don't go close to the bullet. You want to go close to the words instead or else you'll end up with a mess and accidentally uh, mess with your alignment. And if that happens just press the undo button. So I'm going to highlight and then under multi-level list I'm going to go down to define new list level. Now I'm going to show you two different ways to customize your bullets. Now this first level bullet, I want to use a picture from Divergent. So I am going to click right here and I have already imported it um, to save you the boredom of watching me navigate. So, um, but what you would do is save a picture from the internet and then um, once it's on your computer you can press import and navigate to where you have it saved. So now I'm going to select my picture and press OK. Now I'm going to change it to my second level. And this is going to be what this second level of bullet, each one of these plot summary bullets will look like. Now this is the symbol for symbol. So I'm going to click on that. And there are different fonts within here. So you can click on this down arrow and there's a font for symbol, there's a um, font for wingdings and webdings, and these are all going to be different um, pictures that you can use. I'm going to go ahead and choose um, this one since I already had it selected and press OK. Okay, before I move on, ooh, I almost forgot. I am going to name this style, so this is going to be my divergent style. And then I'm going to press OK. Okay, now this is a little bit small and I can't really see what it is. So I'm going to go back into that list. Right click on the list that I created and go to modify. And here I can come in and modify the size. And this is just going to be uh, trial and error. You're just going to have to see what size works best for you. Now, in my opinion, I like to have this first level bold. So I'm again going to highlight and then hold down control so that I can select the remainder of the ones in that level. Now you can format them to be bold either by using this B or as you can see whenever I hover over, um, it's also control B. Okay, for this first one, I'm gonna make it bold, one size bigger and underlined. 
So there you go. That's how you make a multi-level list.